YouTube, welcome back. Today we start uh, a new series that we s we launch a series that we were going to solve the the famous uh, the 150 most famous problem in on lead code. I guess after this series, we after we finish the series, I guess we you will have a strong foundation on on how to uh, ace your uh, um, problem solving software interviews problem uh, software interviews. So um, let's keep everything quick and let's start. So we have um, this problem is that we are merging uh, sorted arrays. You gi you are given uh, two integers arrays nums one and nums two um, sorted in non uh, decreasing order. Non decreasing order that means like just uh, one two three, just like it's uh, one two three and two five six. Okay, it's like from uh, 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 small to big and um, I will say that n2 integers m and n representing the number of elements in num1 and num2 for example these ones are sorted and nums1 have only three so these are the elements that we care about the other three things the other three elements that we don't care about these uh, the final sorted array should not be returned by the function but instead be sorted inside nums1 and this is quite important and quite annoying in the same time because uh, most of the time you want to to create a new function and a new array but however it's 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 not it's not deal breaker it's easy to do so we have these two arrays we have like one two three and three zeros and we have three so basically we care about these three elements and we have nums two 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 five six so we're sorting to them so like it will be one two two uh, three five six I guess yeah so let's go to the sketch and let's talk about that yes delete everything so um let me just take this ones because I guess I will need these uh, for a text yeah okay so there is multiple ways to solve this problem um one of the ways that we can uh first create uh from from oh sorry create from uh, array from nums one and another array from nums two and uh, loop through each element and through each element we compare it to the other elements okay and we have maybe like an array in the middle and this array in the middle we say that okay uh, which 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 element is bigger and we just uh, start to put the elements that are bigger and after that maybe we, we assign this uh, array value to nums1 and the, the problem with this approach it uh, the time complexity it will be it will be really good it will be really uh, really bad it's like it will be oval it will be m multiplied by n okay and uh, also i didn't talk about how we will manage m and n because yeah i didn't talk about them so it could get quite complicated for us um other ways oh sorry okay that's fine other ways okay so there's something that you should put in mind is that if you find the problem that you could solve it in uh, iteration multiple times and you find that you have n squared problem one of the solutions to solve it is to use pointers so for this one we could we could use like a three pointers for example we have a pointer for uh, uh, b1 uh, for nums1 and b2 for nums2 and let's say the i index for uh, for, for 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 them for looping through this uh, nums so for example we'll start looping at the first uh, uh, i will equals i will, will equals um, m plus n because we are sorting these two arrays together and m is the amount of elements that we care in nums1 and n is the amount of elements that we care in nums2 because we are sorting both of them and we merging both of them together so the amount that of elements that we should care about is six because three plus three is six so i will equals m plus m and i will start at the beginning to just loop and i will say okay 
um i will equal zero i will s and so i will just to compare this is element bigger than this element if this element is is um, is, is bigger we could we could uh, uh we could no it's, it's sorted so like if if uh, it's sorted from small to 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 big if this element is is, is smaller than two we push this element to uh, the array and we uh, we increase p1 by one or i tell you something maybe it will be the uh, best to be b1 equals m and b2 equals n yeah this one will be way more better because if m n uh, not minus one can i guess because by this way we make sure that we only start from the elements that we need to to add we don't have to to care about the the other these uh, three elements so b1 right now will equals 2 so b1 started here and b2 equals 2 so b2 started here and i will say that for the first iteration i will say that okay i will start to compare this to, to uh, uh together and i will say that who is bigger so for example um b1 is uh, b2 is bigger so maybe i like i will push b uh, uh, b2 to uh, to the end and uh, i will update b2 to be to be uh, to point to this index and i will just continue executing this like that until we 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 finish the the array and if we and if if, if for example nums2 is finished and we have, we have two two uh, two elements in nums1 we just add all of the elements left in nums1 because of this array is sorted that we don't need to 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 care about to to compare the the elements to the other elements for example if 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 6 bigger than 3 that means 6 bigger than 2 and 1 because it's sorted and 3 is bigger than 2 and 1 so if 6 bigger than 3 that means uh, 6 is bigger than 2 and 6 is bigger than 1 so let's just start in, into the problem you find that solution is quite easy so we have three pointers as we said so let's say let p1 equals m minus 1 1 and i would say let b2 equals n minus one and i will say i will loop for let i will say i equals m plus n minus one and i will say um um i is bigger than or equals zero and i minus minus we're starting from the from the end you could also start from the beginning it, 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 it's quite the same but you should you just you, you you should make sure that that you are not adding numbers more than m in numbers one and numbers and no uh, and more than n in numbers two so i will say that if p2 is less than uh, zero also or b1 less than zero we break okay and i'll say um if b1 bigger than zero or equals than zero and nums one of b1 is bigger than um bigger than what it's bigger than nums 2 of b2 okay so um nums of i nums one of i will equals wait a minute b2 yeah nums one always will be bigger than sorry sorry i don't have to make this i just have to make nums one too you could add the other one but that's it does it has no meaning 
Uh, so uh, nums one of i will equals uh, nums one of v one and we v one minus one. So we take one from v one. Else that means v uh, two is bigger. Uh, it will be the same nums of i. It will be two and nums of v2 nums of i and v2 minus minus and that's it that's the mix okay uh start study plan and uh, no actually no not now not now this year we could w i'll do something we could make a series about study plans because it will help you a lot because study plans helps me a lot a lot while uh, preparing for my uh, software interviews um so let's just make a quick recap about what we have done here so let's just take this one and take the example and let's talk about what we have done so i have nums one let's just have and m and nums two and n and we have v1 v1 that equals to m minus 1 v1 will equals 2 and v2 will equals um, I guess v2 will equals 2 also right yeah v2 will equals 2 so let's talk about what we have done here so basically we're starting from uh, from the end of nums 2 and we're starting here in nums one okay and we're saying that okay if b2 is less than zero is this b2 because nums one all the time is bigger this this one of the requirement uh, uh, one of the things that we got from the program nums two is all the time bigger so i'm saying that if p2 is, is less than zero that means we add all of the elements there is no need to continue looping just just return the array so it's just a base case and we have this is all the functionality is is in actually so first of all i'm saying that if v1 bigger than zero this v1 is bigger than zero and nums one v1 is bigger than nums two v2 for example nums one v1 here it will be nums one and v1 is two so this is nums one if nums one v1 okay bigger than nums 2 b2 nums 2 b2 it's this one it's 6 because b2 is 2 um, make nums 1 of i equals nums 1 of v1 but this uh, this uh, 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 nums 1 v1 is not bigger than nums 2 b2 so we go to the other one so nums 1 of i equals nums 2 of b2 so let's just look at it nums one of i and which will be uh i right now it's uh, m plus n minus uh, one so this is i we start from the end this is i so it will be equals uh nums two of b2 and b2 is equal six here so our array will be look like that okay and we take one from i so right now this is our index that we live in so I'm saying that if b2 is, and also we take one from b2, so b2 right now is, uh, it will equals uh, 1. Okay? And we continue looping. I'm saying that if b1 bigger than or equal 0, yeah, b1 is bigger than 0. And nums1, b1 is bigger than nums2, b2. Let's just talk about that. Nums1, b1, b1 still 2, so nums1, b1 is this one, 3, is 3 bigger than nums2, b2 is 5 is three bigger than five no okay so this if statement does not work so we could just go with this one nums one of i equals nums two b2 nums two b2 is this five and nums y i this zero so it will be five and b2 minus one so b2 equals zero okay so i am saying okay if b2 less than zero b2 is equal zero it's not less yet thank god and i would say that if b1 bigger than or equal zero b1 yeah and nums one of b1 bigger than nums 2 b2 let's just look at this one 
uh, nums one b one which is three is bigger than nums two b two which is two yes that's 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 right so what I'm going to do nums of uh, nums of i nums of i b one nums of i one which this three will uh, no no nums of i one will be equal this zero this zero it equals nums of one b one which is this three so our array will equal like that and b one minus minus so b one it will be um, one and I'll say that I will loop again. I'm saying if b2 less than no b2 equals zero. I will say if b1 bigger than zero, yes, and nums one of b1, nums one of b1 right now, we are here. Is bigger than nums two b2. No, it's not bigger than it. So what we are going to do is that we are uh, updating um, the the nums one of i. It will be with nums to five so it will be like that one two two three five six and after that b2 it will equals negative one and when you loop again b2 is less than zero yes so we break so that's it you we, we fix it like that um so that's it for this video i hope my description was get good if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you in future problems